Hey guys, I've got another ESP custom shop guitar for you today. It is your friend Keith, here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England. And I've got a 1994, early, super early, ESP KH2 Kirk Hammett Metallica Signature guitar to share with you guys. If you're new to the channel, Click like, click subscribe, it's totally free. You've got a massive family waiting for you here to sit around, drool over guitars, and chat about them in the comments section. All right, well, I just did a couple videos of some ultra rare 1993 ESP Custom Shop M2 Hammett, not KH2, M2 Hammett models. This came just after it. In fact, this has the serial number right there, K2320, ESP Custom Guitars. There's a great site that compiles all the serial numbers for these on uh, the Guitar Collector website. This guy based out in Italy. Just Google Kirk Hammett serial numbers and you'll see all of that. These early ones have the ESP tuners. The four-digit K serial number, custom guitars, and they all generally have amazing necks. Why they do an additional serial number on the neck plate, I do not know, but they do. This one is what I would call just a, a regular, solid, good condition uh, finish. The neck is excellent. The frets all have plenty of life. I can zoom in here. A little bit of wear. And a little bit of indentations, as you can see, like right there. Very minor, though. I mean, there's, there's absolutely loads of life left in these. You've got the dual EMG-81 pickups, which are what uh, Kirk actually played. Floyd Rose original bridge. And your standard black with rosewood fretboard and Jolly Roger skull inlays. Reverse headstock, of course. ESP logo with the signature. Lots of little marks and things kind of peppered all over it i would either keep it and go for the road worn look or make this the one that you're not you're not afraid to let your friends pick up and play you know or or this is the one you gig with or go ahead and refinish it use this one as the project and maybe get one of his famous graphics find an artist to do like the the dracula finish or the ouija finish or have some fun with that maybe do an album cover i've kind of wanted to get one of these and do like uh the injustice for all cover across the whole thing um you know and i might if nobody wants this one i might just do that if you have any good ideas let me hear them in the comment section i'd love to know like, if you had one of these in unlimited budget what graphic would you hire an artist to put on here? Because there's actually a couple extremely talented artists that are close to me that specifically paint guitars. And uh, I do, I have been chatting with them and I've been wanting to do something for quite some time. So give me some inspiration in the comments, guys. We may just go down that route. As it stands, this guitar is for sale just the way you see it. It's on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com and on Reverb.com. I've actually had it for a long time and didn't realize I hadn't listed it, which is quite annoying because I would have sold it already by now. Um, I had someone asking for like an exact guitar. Nine, they wanted a 94, a little bit uh, road-worn, they said, and they wanted... They wanted that and another guitar, and I didn't think I had this one. So I just told them, no, I was out, man. 
But that's what happens when you have like seven ESPKH2s. I have to get a little bit more organized with my inventory. Anyway, you can compare this to the many others and the very different uh, variations that we've had here on the channel. We've had the vintage models. We've had um, had a fake Ouija that uh, I did a cool video of just to show you. The standard black NTB, I think it's called. Neck through models. We try to have everything. We've got a few of the LTDs. We just got one of those green burst ones in. So, if you're a fan of Kirk Hammett and Metallica, stick around and subscribe to this channel because you're going to see a lot of his guitars. We just followed the band on tour all over Europe. Uh, the last two dates I did were Vienna and Warsaw. It was awesome. Ghost was a killer band to open up for them. It was quite a party every show. All right, guys. This one comes with the ESP case with the metal plate, which is always nicer than the stenciled one. And just very cool to get the, what I think is the first year for the signature on the headstock. The KH2s came out in some some point in 93. Um, the 293s we have are the early, super, super early variant that didn't have the signature. But regardless, you are getting what I like to call the good ones that have the proper early serial number and the custom guitars circle on the back. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I'm super tired right now. It's about midnight. I'm going to go watch some Netflix and uh, relax, get some sleep so I can do this all over again in the morning for you. All right. Catch you all later. Take it easy, everybody.